Hi folks, in today's video I'm going to show you another four safe and effective exercises you can use to train your legs if you are coming back from herniated discs, bulging discs, etc. Now, I mean myself, I did suffer from really bad herniated disc L5S1 and bulging discs slightly above that as well in my vertebral lumbar vertebral column. I had to change my leg work because I couldn't you know, deadlift anymore, I had sort of sciatica nerve pain. I couldn't do squats anymore. I had to bring in new, uh, different exercises to help train my legs, and I'm gonna show you some of those today. Now listen, folks, if you do enjoy the content I keep bringing to you, please hit that subscribe button, okay? By doing that, it's gonna help me create content, which is going to help you, alrighty? So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, folks, number one leg exercise I've got for you out of four is going to be the Bulgarian split squat, okay? Now, <clears throat> some of today's exercises are slightly more advanced. I did a uh, video last week, which was on quite basic lower body leg exercises. So if you're still at the early stages of recovering, I'd recommend you go and check out that video. Um, it's going to flash up at the end of this video. So do watch um, this video all the way to the end and you can catch up on the other video. Now, Bulgarian split squat for this, um, it's also called the rear foot elevated split squat. Um, we're basically going to use a couple of plates here to elevate my back leg. Now, a typical split squat position, I'll show you from the side. It's here like so. Okay, I'm up on the back uh, toe there. My heel is off the ground to show you from the front. Well, my hips are about hip width, a little bit wider than the hip width apart, both feet facing forward. That's your conventional split squat, slowly, carefully up and down. Bulgarian squat, which I'm going to show you today, and a couple of plates here. So you're looking at about roughly four to six inches high. Yeah, some people say higher, some lower, okay. I start with this basic four to six inches high. You can use a couple of heavy books, okay, against the wall, perfectly fine. Put your non-dominant leg out in front. That's going to be the first working leg. Use a wall for support if you need to. Rear foot on this, on this uh, little step here. Both knees facing forward, feet facing forward. And I just bend both knees down, controlled, and push back up. Count yourself, maybe four, three, two, one, and push back up. Again, I'm not loading my spine with weights, okay? This is the thing when you're coming off a herniated bulging disc. You want to unload the spine, give that disc a chance to heal. I'm not excessively arching my back either. Keep a neutral spine, down you go. Feel it in the front leg, feel it stretching the hip flexor of the back leg. I would work up to <clears throat> 10 to 15 repetitions on each side, okay? Take a minute or so rest. Then, of course, we're going to move on to the next exercise. Now, any time during these exercises you feel pain, you know, knee, the back gets worse, stop, okay? When you're coming back from herniated discs, I know it's difficult. I've been there myself, okay? I had setbacks as well. You just got to steadily, incrementally, Increase the load, okay, maybe one rep every week, maybe two reps every week, one rep every session, whatever it could be to get yourselves up, okay, get yourself strong again, and eventually you will be able to load the spine, okay. There's a couple of videos that are going to flash up on the screen. This is me um, <laughs> throwing various things, deadlifting various things, squatting various things. Um, and over the past so probably four or five years, those videos were taken. One was taken last year. Um, Yes, I am deadlifting again. Yes, I'm squatting again. But yes, I did start with the basics, a lot of bodyweight work, a lot of stability work, okay? And if you just set those nice short-term goals with your long-term goal again to be deadlifting or squatting, it is attainable for most people, okay? All right, let's get into exercise number two. We're going to be on the ground. Let's hit it. All right, folks, now exercise number two uh, we're going to be on the floor here. Now, I've got some, these are called fit slides, okay? It's a uh, hard plastic and used for sliding on a carpeted surface, all right? Now, if at home you do have a carpeted surface, you don't want to jump onto Amazon or Walmart to get these things, they're pretty cheap, like five bucks. Um, what I've used myself in the past was plastic plates, like picnic plates, right? I've used those, they worked perfectly well, okay? Um, I've even used a uh, carry tray, like you know, you're carrying glasses or food out to a table. Um, I had an old plastic tray, I could put both feet on it, that worked perfectly well as well. If, however, you've got wood floors, okay, you can actually do a bit of housework and polish your floors at the same time. What do I mean? You just need to get yourself a couple of hand towels, fold them up, okay, they're going to be sliding on the floor. 
that's what you can use if you've got a wooded floor. Now this exercise, it works bit of the hamstrings, back of the uh, upper thighs here, bit of the glutes, hips, and it also helps stabilize the core. Okay, so what we're gonna do, get on the floor either, with, as I said, wooden floor, get your two little folded tiles into two little squares, carpeted surface, some plastic slidable device, okay? So we're gonna basically lie down on the floor here, we put our feet on the center of our little plates, your picnic plates, whatever it is you're using. Now, what I want you guys to do is squeeze your glutes nice and tight, lift them maybe, maybe two and a half, three inches off the ground, okay? Hold that position, brace the core. Slowly, let the right leg go out, almost straight, brace everything, bring it back in, place it down. Squeeze the glutes again, lift, this time left leg goes out. As, the left, as your legs go out, try to avoid the hips tipping over, okay? Bring it back in, legs go down. Again, squeeze glutes, lift, hold, right leg out, keeping the hips up, brace it tight, nice and tight core. Now let's try the left leg on as well, <clears throat> excuse me, bring it back in. So I'm keeping this up now, bring it out, and back in, and then relax down, and relax the glutes off. So in the beginning stages, you're just gonna squeeze the glutes, lift, do one leg out, bring it back in, place the lower back and glutes back down, relax for a split second, squeeze glutes, lift again, opposite leg. And you look at maybe 10 to 16 in total. Okay, so it's like five to eight on each side. If that is too easy for you, then you're gonna lift, keep lifted, and you're gonna do right leg out and back in, left leg out and back in, and keep the glutes up now. Try to go for 10 in total. You feel a lot of tension in the hamstrings, your glutes are on, <clears throat> and your abs as well. And you're trying to avoid this rocking of the hips because you want to stabilize that spine, all right? Once you get really advanced, you can go a lot higher with the lift. You can do two legs at one time, but we're not there yet, okay? We're just doing the one leg in, one leg out, stabilizing the core and the hips lifted off the ground, all right? Now, guys, if you are coming back here, you're in the early stages, you've still got a lot of uh, pain in the lower back from sciatica, the bulging disc herniates, whatever it is you've, you've got. I would recommend checking out my 21 day video course. All right, it's gonna pop up on the screen down below here. www.bashbackpain.com forward slash course. It's a 21 day daily video course brought to you by email. It guides you through various exercises, strengthening work, stretches to bring you way down in reduced uh, pain to get you to the stage where you can start working on your strength and get back into the gym, get back to your sports, okay? Go and check out that link today. All right, so that's the hamstring curl, if you want to call that hip stability hamstring curl exercise. Let's move on to exercise number three. All right, folks, exercise number three is going to be a one-legged squat, partial squat, one-legged stand-up, a lot of different names for this. Um, now, you may have heard of a pistol squat, so you're on one leg and you squat all the way down, come back up again. Very difficult exercise. Um, it does put the lumbar region for most people into flexion, okay? Which if you are coming back from herniated disc, bulging disc, it's not great at the outset, okay? So I'm trying to keep the spine as neutral as possible. But of course, we are trying to get some blood, work those legs, get them strong, okay? So get those nice, strong extremities. So what we have here, this could be a um, little small table, chair, okay, I've put some padding on top of here as well. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna be standing, <coughs> so the table's roughly back of knee height, maybe a little bit higher, okay? Getting quite close to it, up nice and tall, use my hands, arms here as a counterbalance. I'm lifting up my left leg, I'm gonna be working my right leg to show you here. And I, I hip hinge, I step my hips back, okay? I'm going down, 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 carefully, onto the surface. Now I don't lose, I've got my neutral spine, don't relax down here, okay, and flex. I keep my spine strong, I've still got tension in my, in my leg, and then I push back up, okay? I can put the other leg down just for a moment of stability so I don't fall over. Okay, I'm ready to go again, lift up that leg, balance. I come down slowly, slowly, onto the surface, and push up. And again, I relax this leg down so the hip flexor doesn't get too tired on that side. Take a second, lift that leg up. I go back, down, 
down with control. And you see me, I do them very slowly with control. I'm not trying to engage, you know, engage momentum. I don't want any you know, fast displacement movements here. Nice and controlled, feeling the muscle do the work, okay? So try this one. I would go <coughs> six to 10 repetitions to start. To make it harder, you can still maintain the neutral spine. You can start to remove some of the height. If, you, if your table's not high enough, you have to put it higher. Put some books, you know, some magazines on there to get to the right height that you can still keep the neutral spine. As you get stronger, you can remove some of that height away, be it the magazines or books. If you can still maintain the neutral spine, come down, come down, touch, pause, maintain tension, and drive back out of the hole. Okay, so number three in the bag, let's hit number four. Okay, folks, exercise number four, it's going to be a straight leg hip extension. Okay, we're down on the floor here. I've got a small box. You could be using a small footstool, uh, the edge of the couch, okay? Again, books stacked up nice and high, to roughly, what is that, it's about a foot, okay, roughly 12 inches there, 14 inches or so. And we're going to be lying on our back on the floor. We're going to put our feet up on top of this little box device here. And they're not completely locked straight. There's a small, we've got a small bend in the knee there. And we're going to lie on our backs, we'll have our palms down first time. We're going to squeeze the glutes, okay? And then we're going to imagine our heels are driving into the box as we squeeze the glutes. And we're going to lift the hips up. Nice, small movement. Keep the glutes squeezed. Hold for a count of one, two, and then come down gently back on the floor. Relax. Again, press the heels, squeeze the glutes, lift up, squeeze, hold, stabilizing the spine, stabilizing the core. Keep the tension on, one, two, and come down. And you should feel that in the back of the hamstrings here. Holster your glutes. So again, here, palms are down, squeeze my glutes, squeeze the hamstrings, lift, up, hold for a second, one, two, and come down. Nice and controlled. Again, smooth control, We're not jerking up and down. Don't feel that your lower back is pushing up, like trying to force it with your spine, okay? Think about the glutes and the hamstrings, basically lifting, you squeeze the glutes and lift, okay? Stabilize, hold, and come back down, okay? Aim for 10 to 15 repetitions, all right? Take a minute's rest and repeat. Now what you can do, you can build those four exercises into a little circuit, okay? So you're doing like the, the quad, the Bulgarian split squat first, so it's quads and glutes. Then you can go into the little sliders, okay, take a minute between each one. Then you can come back up into the one-legged squat and then go down for this one, make a little circuit out of it. Take a good minute and 80 seconds during each exercise, two or three circuits, trying to get hopefully six, 10, 15 repetitions on each particular exercise. And trust me, that will be a challenging workout, okay? If you are having pain during the exercises, your back pain gets worse, okay, stop, all right? Take a few steps back, and you probably need to check out the other video I talked about, which is more a slightly easier uh, leg exercise, which will be flashing up on the screen in just a few seconds' time. All right, guys, listen, any problems, questions, hit me up in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and share, and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.